Turning on bridge mode lets your Linksys mesh system and existing upstream rudder act as one network, so all devices can connect and communicate seamlessly. In this video, we will provide instructions on how to configure your Linksys router to bridge mode using the web user interface. Let's begin. First, you need to install your Linksys router by following the standard setup process. If you haven't done this yet, please refer to the link in the description section of this video for detailed instructions on how to set up your router. Once it is set up, only then can you switch to bridge mode. Now I will show you the bridge mode steps using the Linksys web user interface. Follow these steps to access the web user interface of your router. First, launch a web browser. Second, enter your router's IP address, which is by default 192.168.1.1, and then press the Enter button. If the IP address does not work, check your router's IP address. When logging into a Linksys mesh system, you might see a warning because the router doesn't have website certificates. However, your connection is secure and encrypted. This warning only appears with HTTPS connections. Please consult the link provided in the description section for guidance on resolving the browser error. Now this window will be displayed. Click on the mobile image. Enter the router password when prompted. The default router password of a Linksys mesh router is the same as the Wi-Fi password which is located at the bottom of the router. If you've forgotten the password, click Reset Password to create a new one. The home page of your Linksys mesh router will be displayed. Click Connectivity under Router Settings. Next, go to the Internet Settings tab and then click on Edit. Under Connection Type, choose Bridge Mode. Before hitting Apply, make sure to copy the URL shown on screen. This will be the new address you'll use to access the router's web interface while it's in Bridge Mode. Now click Apply to save the settings. Just a few reminders. While saving your settings, your devices may disconnect temporarily until the changes have been applied. Once the procedure is completed, the dashboard should confirm that your router is now operating in bridge mode.